In this video, we're going to look at accessibility shortcuts on the iPad and iPhone. With accessibility shortcuts, what I'm able to do is quickly turn off and on different accessibility options, such as the zoom option or magnify option, or even sound recognition. Let's see what I mean. Let's go to my iPad and iPhone. Let's first look at this on my iPad. Now I have an iPad with Face ID. When you have an iPad with Face ID, to access these accessibility shortcuts, what you do is you triple click on the sleep wake button. If you have an iPad with a home button, you triple click on the home button. So I'm going to triple click on my sleep wake button and watch what happens. I just press it in three times quickly. One, two, three. And you're going to see I have these accessibility shortcuts. What I'm able to do is set, if I want to use background sounds, I can turn on the magnifier, I can turn on zoom. All I have to do is just tap on it to access that accessibility option. That is what an accessibility shortcut is. Basically what it'll do is it'll put it into this list so then I can easily turn it on and off. Let's take a look at my iPhone. Same thing, I have an iPhone with Face ID. So what I do is I press in on the sleep wake button three times. If you have one with a home button, you would do this three times on the home button. One, two, three. And you're gonna see I have my different options down at the bottom. Now where do I turn this on and where can I set which shortcuts are available to me? Well, what we need to do is go to our settings app. Let's go back over to my iPad. So I'm going to cancel here. Now what I need to do is go over to my settings app. From here what we do is we swipe up until we find accessibility. Under accessibility at the bottom here you're going to see accessibility shortcut. This is where we can set which shortcuts or which accessibility options we're going to see in that shortcut. So I tap on this, and from here all I have to do is just select, put a little check mark by the ones that I want to select from. So you're going to see I have a check mark by background sounds. I also have one for the magnifier, and then when I swipe down I have one for zoom. Let's say I no longer use zoom. All I have to do is just deselect it. And when I press in on that sleep wake button three times, one, two, three, we can see that zoom is no longer there. I can also reorder these. I'm going to turn zoom back on. And I use zoom more than anything else, so I want it up at the top. I just take these three lines here, and I drag this up towards the top. And let's move background sound to the bottom. So I just drag this down to the bottom. Now when I access that, accessibility shortcut. I press in on the sleep wake button three times. One, two, three. What it's going to do is show me zoom first here. Let's take a look at this on the iPhone. You can imagine it's going to be very similar. Again, I go over to my settings app and now what I do is I go to accessibility. Under accessibility, down towards the bottom, we have our accessibility shortcut. From here, what I'm able to do is select which ones I want to show. And again, I can reorder these. Let's put it in the same order here. And now, when I press in on the sleep wake button three times, one, two, three, we can see we have my accessibility shortcuts down at the bottom. So that's how we use accessibility shortcuts to easily turn on and off different accessibility options on the iPad and iPhone. Basically, with accessibility shortcuts, what we do is we press in on the home button three times quickly or the sleep-wake button, depending on which iPad or iPhone you have. When you do that, you're going to see all of the different accessibility options that you have selected. Just go to the settings app, go to accessibility, and then go to accessibility shortcut. Put a check mark or select each one of the options that you want to select from when you use our accessibility shortcut. And then from there, you can easily turn on and off that accessibility shortcut just by triple clicking on the home button or the sleep wake button. So that's how we use accessibility shortcuts on the iPad and iPhone.